The key findings of our paper are that we've identified very high levels of a particular type of chemical pollutants called PCBs in the blubber of uh, killer whales, bottomized dolphins, um, and uh, also striped dolphins in the Mediterranean. So these are some of the highest levels in the world and they're having really um, severe effects on these populations. One of their most toxic effects is that they can uh, stop uh, animals reproducing properly and that's what we think is happening in Europe. Um, some of the populations of killer whales now that remain are very small and they're not reproducing and if you don't have any calves you won't survive. We're working with stranded animals that wash up on the coastlines in the UK and also we've got some samples from animals in other countries in Europe and basically we will do, I mean it's like forensic pathology for dolphins is an easy way, a short way, where we will do post-mortem examinations, usually here at the ZSL, but sometimes on the beach if it's a larger animal. We'll take a whole range of tissue samples uh, we'll find the causes of death and, uh, and then we'll um, also take our samples including blubber samples and it's the blubber sample that we're able to test for PCBs. Well what, one of the really um, the, the, the difficult problems with PCBs is that dolphin milk and, and whale milk is very high fat, very 40% fat um, and uh, they have a long lactation, it can be 11 months or even more in some animals. So this means that a lot of the PCB in the mother, can be 90% of the mother's body burn, will be transferred to the calf. And so either in the, in the uterus, there'll be stillbirths with PCBs, or if the calf is born alive, very often it then gets this big hit of PCB from the mother. Uh, a calf a few months old will then die, and, and this is the problem that clearly we are seeing in killer whales and some of our other populations. The ban on PCB has conserved a lot of wildlife, the ban has been enough, but for killer whales and some of our dolphins in Europe, the ban is not enough, so we have to do more to, to get rid of the PCB that we've got. The PCBs are just too high. There are many things that we could be done uh, in terms of uh, coastal management, dredging, um, disposing of large stocks of PCB still on land. There's a lot of things that can be done, we just have to do it, because if we don't do it, we'll just lose all the killer whales.